All right, so what we're looking at here is now we're going to look at all the respiratory problems. We have thoracentesis. So we have thorax, which would be chest, and centesis, um, we just did on the medical terminology, is that surgical puncture. Okay, so what they're doing is your chest is going to, your, your lungs are collapsing, and so they're going to put a hole in your chest to help get some of that fluid and some of the pressure off. Pneumothorax, so we've got lung, chest. So around the lungs in the chest area, we have too much air. Um, it can cause a lung to collapse. Again, they're going to put a tube in the side of your chest to fix that. Pleurisy means that my pleura, the covering of the lung, is inflamed. Hypoxia, hypo, not enough, inadequate. You are turning blue or cyanotic. Remember, cyan, blue, um, because you're not getting enough oxygen. Hyperventilation, you can breathe too fast. That means you don't have enough carbon dioxide in your lungs. Something you need to understand is even though you're breathing in and out and you're breathing in oxygen and getting rid of carbon dioxide, you always still have a little bit of oxygen and a little bit of carbon dioxide. It doesn't fully leave. So in your blood, you always have some carbon dioxide. In your lungs, you always still have some oxygen. Um, so you do need a certain amount of carbon dioxide. To fix that, you can breathe into a bag and that paper bag then will fill with carbon dioxide um, and oxygen and it will slow your breathing down and allow your body to level itself out. If you don't, you will pass out and your body will fix it itself. Carbon monoxide poisoning is when carbon monoxide instead of oxygen attaches to your red blood cells. Once it attaches, it doesn't let go. So you slowly suffocate because your red blood cells can't take in any oxygen. Um, and you can reverse this by going into um, the chambers, the, the parabolic chambers. Um, and that uh, Sarah's Garden, I think, is a one in Wasian where you can do that. Cleft palate. A palate is the roof of your mouth, and remember, cleft is space. So the roof of your mouth has a space in it. And we kind of talked about that um, a couple chapters back. You're going to have trouble, trouble breathing, swallowing, and chewing. In the United States, we fix that. In other countries, it takes a little while. Cystic fibrosis. Um, it is genetic, which means you get it from both parents. It is lethal, which means it will kill you. Your lungs produce too much mucus. As a child, you can kind of pat them like you're burping them on the front and the back of your chest, and it'll loosen that mucus, and then you can suck it out. As they get older, it gets harder to do, and then they slowly drown from that mucus. The common cold, you need to remember that the cold is a virus, it is contagious, and it spreads very quickly. Pharyngitis is exactly what it says. Pharynx is your throat. Itis is inflammation. Laryngitis is your larynx, and it's inflamed. So your voice box, you lose your voice. Sinusitis, your sinuses are inflamed. They fill with mucus. You can rub them, massage them, but until you get some antibiotics, that sinus infection is not going to go away. Bronchitis, those bronchial tubes, those branches in your lungs are inflamed or swollen. It's going to make it hard to breathe. Um, and again, you're going to need an antibiotic to help you with that. If it gets worse, it can lead to pneumonia. Influenza or the flu. Big, big thing. It is a respiratory problem, not a digestive system problem. So when we talk about influenza A and B, the flu, those are respiratory problems. Young kids and older people tend to die from those more than the average person would. Pneumonia. So you know pneumonia is lungs, and it's just an infection of the lungs. Um, you will fill with thick fluid, start to have trouble breathing, because you can't exchange oxygen through that fluid. Diphtheria is an infection caused by a diphtheria bacterium. Pertussis, also known as whooping cough, 
there is a vaccine for it. Um, it is becoming a higher number of cases. This is like a seal-like barking. It's a very, very particular cough, and you can hear it. TB or tuberculosis. Um, you can get a TB test. The health careers have done that where you get a little injection under the skin and they put some fluid in there to see if you react to it. TB can damage your lungs. It can be there for a long time before you notice it. Um, and you usually see this with the poor, people in Africa, people that immigrated from Mexico. You see this with people with AIDS. Um, it is very damaging and it can be spread. Anthrax. Haven't heard about this in a while. This was after 9-11. Um, anthrax is, if you've ever looked at the, the out a window or looked into the sun and you can see those little specks of stuff in the light, anthrax is small like that. Um, it is a bacteria, but it's really, really small. So you can float it in the air and nobody would know that it's there. Um, it is colorless, odorless, tasteless. Um, it, smaller than that speck of dust can make you sick or kill you. So it's really, really dangerous. Um, and terrorists were trying to use that around the 9-11 time. Rhinitis. Remember, rhine is nose. Itis is inflammation. So you got a runny nose is all that's saying. Asthma. A lot of people have asthma. Um, the population with asthma is actually getting higher. What you see with asthma is those bronchial tubes, the bronchi eye, they actually swell, but you can't swell out because there's not room, so they swell in. And so that closes off that airway, and so the person can't breathe. You have to give drugs, inflammatory drugs, to make the inflammation go down for the person to be able to breathe. And that's what the inhaler does. That's what the breathing treatments do. Asbestos. Um, asbestos used to be used in insulation, so it's in a lot of old buildings. It's um, in that pink insulation, or it used to be. A speck of dust can go in. Asbestos is sharp, so it will actually go in and cut your lungs and causes a lot of damage. Um, you see it also with mining. We don't have asbestos right now. It's illegal to use. Um, what, so your grandparents, your great-grandparents would be the ones that would have seen this stuff. Silicosis, you see this with the miners, but it is the same thing. It gets into your lungs, it cuts them, causes scar tissue, which means you can't breathe. Nasal polyps, these are going to be gross, that grow in your nose. Okay, the problem with that is, is it's going to make it hard to breathe. Colon polyps would be gross that grow in your large intestines, and you should have heard of those before. Chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, also known as COPD. Okay, you hear this with the older people. COPD means that I have a lot of lung problems, and they kind of group these people into a category. They have bronchitis all of the time. They have emphysema. They have trouble breathing. Most likely they were a smoker or around smoke a lot. They will die of COPD if they don't die of something earlier. COPD is fatal. It means you have trouble breathing and it gets worse and worse and worse. Emphysema is part of COPD and what it says is those alveoli, those little grapes, don't and don't inflate and deinflate like a balloon. They don't get bigger and smaller like they should, and they will actually break and collapse and not work. And that's why you can't breathe. Lung cancer is pretty serious. Um, a third of Americans have it, and it's because of the smoking rate. You can be a non-smoker, but be exposed to it from other people, and you can die from it. It moves extremely fast. If you get diagnosed with lung cancer, there's a 15% chance you're going to live five years. So it's a really, really big deal. Cancer of the larynx um, is also common with smokers and with people who chew. It's curable if it's found early. If it's not, um, it can spread easily and be fatal. Pulmonary embolism. Pulmonary is lungs. Embolism is a clot, something that should not be there. 
If something travels to your lungs that should not be there, it's going to cause chest pain and breathing problems. The last one is SIDS, Sudden Infant Death Syndrome. SIDS is when a baby dies while it's sleeping for no reason. Um, what they think is that it gets too warm, they start to have trouble breathing. Um, babies can't turn their head, so if they aren't getting enough oxygen, we would turn our head. Babies can't do that. So how to prevent this? They want you to have your baby suck their thumb or use a binky. That actually keeps them breathing and helps that. No blankets, no pillows, no bedding, nothing in the bed except for the baby. A nice firm mattress and don't make the baby too warm. The last thing is, is you always put a baby back to sleep. They sleep on their back so that their face is up.